Hi everyone, Mrs. Riley here with your next installment of First Chapter Friday. This video is being recorded during February, which is Black History Month. And so I wanted to share with you a book that is really important in our history and is often maybe not talked about enough. And that book happens to be Courage Has No Color, The True Story of the Triple Nickels. This is the story of America's first black paratroopers. And just to give you an overview of the book, this is a nonfiction book in which author Terry Tanya Lee Stone is sharing the story about this group of paratroopers who are helping America fight discrimination overseas during World War II when we are still having injustice and discrimination here in America. So I wanted to share with you the first chapter of Courage Has No Color, the true story of the Triple Nickels. Chapter one, Courage Has No Color. What is it like to jump out of an airplane? Imagine you are a paratrooper suiting up for a jump. Guys on either side of you are doing the same. One jokes about having a dream that the chutes didn't open. Another one says he's glad everyone paid their insurance. You stand strong, even though you are loaded down with a hundred pounds of equipment strapped to your body, main chute, reserve chute, and combat gear. The jump master walks down the line, inspecting each of you, making sure you are properly fitted. Your life depends on it. The joking stops. The jump master commands, load. In jump order, your line of troopers, your stick, climbs into the plane. You follow the trooper in front of you to your spot and sit. Now you are in the air on the way to the drop zone. You're chatting with your buddies above the noise of the plane. Puke buckets are always on board, but you don't need one today. 20 minutes from the drop zone, it's time to get serious. The red warning light near the door turns on. The jump master stands and shouts, get ready. He walks down the line, alerting each jumper with a word in the ear and a touch on the shoulder, making sure each and every man hears him. You shuffle forward, sticking close to the man in front of you. The man in back of you does the same. You watch as the troopers in front of you follow each command, quickly disappearing one by one out the open door of the plane. And now it's your turn. Stand in the door. Nothing separates you from the sky but one last sliver of floor. The tip of your left boot hangs slightly over the edge. The wind whips. The white is blinding bright. Adrenaline pulses through you. You look down at a brown and green patchwork quilt of open fields and thickets of trees. The roar of the engine pulses with the pounding of your heart. You're over the drop zone. It's time. The jump master bellows, go. You jump. You force yourself to focus. Count. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Your hand is on the reserve chute, ready if you need it. Thwap. Your main chute opens and the line snaps tight. You are floating down, down, down. The rumble of the plane and the jump master shouts are gone. Your ears fill with a hush unlike any other, extreme quiet. Looking down, feet together, you see the ground through the tiny V space where the toes of your boots almost touch. Looking up, you see the reassuring inside of your open chute. Looking out, you see the other jumper chutes falling with yours like jellyfish swimming through a sea of sky. The ground gets closer, rushing towards you as if wanting to swallow you whole. For an instant, your billowy chute seems like it might cradle you on impact. Then you hit the ground hard. Even a perfect landing sends shockwaves rolling up the soles of your feet all the way to your jaw, clapping it shut. What did it take to be a paratrooper in World War II? Specialized training, extreme physical fitness, courage, and until the 555th Parachute Infantry Battalion, the Triple Nickels, were formed, white skin. It is 1943. Americans are overseas fighting World War II to help keep the world safe from Adolf Hitler's tyranny, safe from injustice, safe from discrimination. Yet right here at home, people with white skin have rights that people with black skin do not. What is courage? What is strength? Perhaps it is being ready to fight for your nation, even when your nation isn't ready to fight for you. If you're interested in reading this book, Courage Has No Color, The True Story of the Triple Nickels by Tanya Lee Stone, a nonfiction book about America's first black paratroopers, make sure you fill out the Google form in the library Google Classroom.